Welcome to Cosplay Academy, the show that covers the different fundamentals of cosplay making. We will cover different aspects of it from sewing, prop making, to pretty much everything. Teaching you about the different materials and different things that you can do with making cosplay. And for today, on episode one, we are going to be showing you one of the things you're going to be using a lot, and that is a dress form. But ours is special as we are making our own dress forms to fit our individual bodies today. Now, what is a dress form, you ask? Let me grab my lovely assistant here. This is a dress form. This is actually a duct tape dress form. This is what we're going to be making today, leading you through the different aspects of it all. Now, with this dress form, then we'll proceed to make different costumes and we already have our basic body shape. This way whenever we actually go and we make it we don't have to worry about guessing as to whether or not it's going to actually fit our bodies when we're making it because we already have our body. Now there's several different approaches on how you can go about this. The approach that I'm taking is duct taping closed. Initially we were looking at using saran wrap to wrap around the body as it would be easier to cut at the end of it but it made it so tight to the body that it's really kind of hard to get the scissors through and that's going to be more of an issue with the, your model. And also whenever you're going to be doing this make sure you have somebody that you trust doing this cause it's kind of you know, nerve-wracking having to be duct taped up and you're going to be stuck in that position. You're not really able to move any at all. And <laughs> then you know, they're going to be going up your spine with the blade. So yeah, you want to make sure it's somebody that you trust. But for now, let's go ahead and get started. Now you don't have to pull tight whenever you're putting this because if you have loose clothes on you don't have to worry about whether or not it's going to form to your model because as you put the layers on they will pull to you and it will get tighter and tighter as you go along. When taping generally you want to start at the bottom and work your way up. Adjust your clothes as you go along to make sure you keep it where you need to. Generally, with women, you'll want to actually the first strip to be right along, right underneath the bust line, and then you'll crisscross up and then around and just work to form your upper piece, then worry about the lower half. Now, as you go, you want it to go down to basically the end of the shirt. If you want to form a little bit longer, you can take an extra piece of material and hang it down lower and just allow it to go down a little bit further. Now the form that we're making today is just the upper torso. You'll use the same process with the lower half of the body, generally looking at cheap pajama bottoms or something along those lines. Would probably be the <laughs> easiest way of going about it. Just like with this, this is just a cheap little $2 shirt, so it didn't really matter. If you have an old shirt that you're not going to be wearing anymore, then that's perfectly fine. Also make sure as you go along that you want your house or wherever you're going to be doing this to be cold or at least really cool. Because as you get duct tape up, you are going to be insulating yourself and adding a lot of heat. So definitely make sure to keep it nice and cool because you don't want to pass out. Also make sure to keep your knees bent because you don't want to be standing there too long and just pass out. So no, just don't. Now as you're going, you'll use a lot of duct tape on it. When we made the first form, we ended up using a little over 220 yards of tape which for us was two rolls of the 55 yards and a little bit of another one. So for my form where I'm a bigger guy, we're going to be using, we bought four rolls just to be on the safe side. Now, 
you, when you're going through and you're making this before you go and slit it off of you, you're going to use approximately about five, six layers of duct tape on yourself because you want to make sure it keeps your form and it's going to be rigid whenever you go to slit it. Make sure also when you're going and you're doing the form that you want to follow the body's curves. You don't want to try to go against any natural curves that you're going to have because then it just has you looking completely off. So always go with the curves of the body. Like in my case, my body is abnormal. So as you see, I'm like I'm pretty wide, but then when I turn to the side, I was like that's not as much. It's like I'm disproportionate. Now comes the fun part for the shoulders and the arms. Now, like I said, you have to go along the curves of the body. And you want to make sure that all parts are wrapped. When doing the lower half of the arm right here, generally you want to hold your arm out at first, like this, and allow them to go around the arm. The hardest part when doing the arms will be actually right underneath in your armpit. Because it's an awkward bend and you're just having to cover all parts of it. So don't be surprised if you actually end up doing a few more layers there than you do anywhere else on the body. But it takes some more to get through that part. Should you want to do a dress form that actually has the body, the arms all the way down, you just use a long sleeve shirt would probably be the easiest approach on it. In my case, I opted to go with this, the short sleeve version right now, the short arm ones, to make it a little easier to get the costumes on and off of the form a little easier. One thing is for sure, if you are a person who's not really used to <laughs> enclosed spaces, this would probably be a little intense for you. Because it's going to restrict your movements. You're definitely not going to be able to move around that much. Because like this, no, I can't hardly move my arm. That's about as, that's the extent of what I can move it now. Not up here, no, it's, it's here. <laughs> definitely make sure to wear comfortable shoes because you're going to be standing up a lot and it's going to be really hard on your feet if you don't have good support. I feel like a superhero right now just standing here. Da da da! What superhero would you be? Duct tape man. <laughs> well, actually, the funny thing is, this is actually kind of makes me feel like a duct tape version of Colossus from <laughs> X Men. Now, for the neck, we want it to come up a little bit higher. That way, in case there's something that's going to need a collar on it. So, to make it a little bit easier, what we're going to do, and um, you got two options on it. One is well, two major options. There's plenty of options, I'm sure. But the two major options that we looked at is one, using fabric to kind of expand it up. But in this route, we're going to use the same thing we did with hers. In which case, we're going to put paper towels inside the shirt. We'll duct tape the shirt to the paper towels as we go. Once it's all the way around, and then we'll go and duct tape around that. As you'll see here, right here in a second. Now, as you see... We have it all the way up and around. Now from here she's going to go ahead and proceed to tape it down and up to up my neck a little, a little bit. At this point make sure not to pull tight when doing the neck because you don't really want to strangle the person that you are duct taping. That, that, that is a no-no. No. Now as you see after you finish the neck part you can go ahead and cut the excess off if your person's having a little bit of trouble breathing at this point you'd want to go ahead and do a slit down the back part of it just enough to allow them to open up which with mine we made sure just to leave it open a little bit more that way I had a little bit more room kind of make me look like my body's completely thrown off so as of right now we have about two layers only on this part we went ahead and did the upper part of the body 
So around my neck, I actually already have about four layers on it and three layers on the shoulders, chest, and upper back, and only two layers on the lower half. So now we're gonna go ahead and start working on the lower half again. I have one more layer up on it. We're gonna see how it feels. But at this point, you can already tell you're not really moving much at this point. It, it's kind of stiff. As you're going along, definitely go through and double check all the areas and feel free any soft spots that's extra soft like right through here. I mean, you just need to go back and double check that part. Add a little bit more to it. Helps solidify the work. Now, for cutting up the spine, make sure they don't cut your shorts because I can't tell if she's actually cutting it or pulling on it. I'm pulling on it. I'm trying not to catch your shorts. That's <laughs> <laughs> what you did me. You gotta move your finger. Sorry. Now that it's a little bit looser, I'm able to slide it up loose and get it off of my, get it off of me a little bit more. Okay. And then in terms of taking it off, it's just a simple matter. Just have them hold the sleeve. And come around and hold the other sleeve. This is why we had the exit sleeve hanging out. And simple as that. Now, for this part, we want to go ahead and seal it back up. And this is where your helper is going to have to come back in again. You're going to start at the bottom and seal it back together. Wait until you get both pieces lined up right. And then go ahead and just do the first initial seal on it. After you go up the spine this way, you'll have to go back over it again. And fill it up more go around reinforce and after you start stuffing it because if you don't we learned the hard way you're going to have a blowout on the back where the seam is and then you're just going to have to go back and patch that up restuffing it and it's annoyance now you have your basic shape for your dress form now, as you see, we need to go back and trim up along the edges from where we taped up around the neck. So we're gonna go ahead and hit that real quick and then move on to plugging the hole. Now that we have the hole trimmed up, along, nice clean edges along the edge, we're going to cut our cardboard for it. Now, we're gonna take our cardboard sheet that we have here and we're gonna go ahead and start fixing it over for the other piece. All right guys, so as you can see, we went ahead and finished up the dress form, went ahead and stuffed it, sealed everything up. To seal up the holes, we basically took cardboard, cut it out. Now, needless to say, this is a little bit bigger than what my neck is. Um, that's perfectly fine. This is actually just um, the first attempt at mine um, for this tutorial purpose. Uh, so we'll probably end up redoing it later on because I'm more likely going to end up doing one that's a whole arm. But today we wanted to show you this one. We ended up using approximately about 10 pounds of the polyester filling that you would use for like pillows and stuff like that which you can find at your local craft store now that is a lot a lot a lot of stuffing but i am a big man over 300 pounds so naturally this thing is freaking huge it doesn't really look it on there, but you know, you can see it's basically my size. Now, in the end, we also ended up using about four rolls of duct tape, right around 220 yards, to give you a rough estimate on it. If you're a smaller person, I would say three rolls of the 55 yards would probably be more than enough but for a bigger person like me ideally 
you would want four to five rolls. I could technically put another layer on and that would have helped solidify it more before I went and started taping everything, but it got really hot while I had it on. So that's another thing I said, like I said, you have to make sure the place is gonna be cold because you're gonna be hot. Also, I didn't mention this earlier, make sure you go to the bathroom first. Cause once you have all that on, you know, you're gonna be taped up for probably, it takes honestly between an hour and a half to two hours, depending on a person, the amount of tape that you have. It can be longer being taped up and uh, you don't want to try to have to go to the bathroom like that because that's very, very unpleasant. But as you can see, we are done. I have my dress form. So now future episodes, whenever we're going to be working on a project, we have something that we can use to do it all with. The whole cost on both of our mannequins, dress forms, however you wish to call it, uh, well, let's see here, that's about $5 per roll. We ended up using six rolls, so you can figure $30 just for those. We used really a box and a half, about 15 pounds total of the polyester. Honestly, uh, about $30 worth which should run actually a little bit higher i would call it normal project if you're making each one you'll probably use about twenty dollars worth of polyfill if you use it unless you use a different means but this has been honestly the best thing that i found because it makes it a good solid stiff definitely after you're done you'll want to go back around it again to seal that up cardboard and honestly, you can buy just a regular standard cardboard box, usually like less than a dollar. Biggest cost was the polyester filling and the duct tape. So all in all, we spent between both of our mannequins about $55, 60 after tax. So, I mean, you add, you figure that compared to what you're going to pay buying them online versus you know making them yourself and these ones are going to be designed for your body like i said we ended up using old shirts except for mine which was like a little three dollar shirt that i was going to use for another project so i have to go replace that now but that's going to conclude today's lesson if there's something that you want to see us attempt in a future episode make sure to leave a comment down below letting us know and we'll see what we can do to help you out with that until next time, class dismissed.